स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर फोर्टीन पिक्टोग्राफ्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट पिक्टोग्राफ्स लेट्स सी व्हाट इज पिक्टोग्राफ्स व्हेन वी यूज पिक्चर्स और सिंबल्स टू रिप्रेजेंट अ गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन वी कॉल इट पिक्टोग्राफ्स और पिक्टोग्राम्स It means pictures represent information. A pictograph represents pictures as numbers. Now see the table on page number ninety seven of maths workbook. Observe the table and understand about pictographs. The table below. Gives some bowling figures related to a cricket match. Here represents the information about bowling in a pictograph and answer the following questions using this pictograph. Now see the table. Here, bowlers, overs, runs given and wicket taken. Now see the first name of bowler is Chandrakant and Chandrakant. Bowl, how many overs? One, two, three, and four overs. And runs given eighteen, and wickets taken four. Now the next bowler is Ramakant, and Ramakant bowl one and two overs, and runs given twenty, and wickets taken zero. There is no wicket. Now Ahmed bowl one, two, and three overs. And runs given twelve, wickets taken two. And here this one picture of ball show one over. So you write a scale, and in scale one picture is equal to one over, and in one over six balls. Now answer the following questions by referring to the table above. Now see the table and give the answers of these questions. See the first question. A about how many bowlers does the table give information? Here is how many bowlers. Here are one, two, and three bowlers. So in answer, right, the table gives information about three bowlers. Now see the second question. Who gave away the most runs? Who gave away the most runs? Here Chandrakant gave. Eighteen runs. Ramakant gave twenty runs, and Ahmed gave twelve runs. Here is twenty runs is most runs. So, in answer, we write Ramakant gave away the most runs. Now, see the third question. See how many overs did Chandrakant bowl? Here, one ball represent one over. So, here how many overs? One, two, three, and four overs. So, right in answer, Chandrakant bowled four overs. Now, next one: How many wickets did Ramakant take? How many wickets did Ramakant take? See here, Ramakant and Ramakant take here no wicket. So, in answer, we write Ramakant did not take a single wicket. It means Ramakant not. Take any wicket. Now see the next one. How many balls did Ahmed bowl? How many balls? So here see Ahmed and Ahmed balls one, two, and three overs. And in one overs, how many balls? Six balls. So here is six, six, and six. It means six, six two ja twelve, and this one six three ja eighteen. So how many balls? Here is eighteen balls. So in answer we write down Ahmed bowled three overs and three overs means three multiply six balls three multiply six balls three six is eighteen so here it eighteen balls Ahmed bowled eighteen balls. Now next how many runs did Chandrakant give? You see. Here Chandrakant and Chandrakant runs given eighteen. So in answer we will write Chandrakant gave away eighteen runs. 
Now the next one. How many overs wear ball all together? How many overs? Here Chandrakant bowled one, two, three, and four overs. Ramakant bowled one and two overs, and Ahmed bowled one, two, and three, three overs. So how many bowled all together? So here we make the addition and write here answer. So here is how many overs we are bowled all together. All together, four plus two plus three is equal to four plus two six six plus three nine. So here is nine overs we are bowled. Now see the last question. Who gave away the least runs per over? Here. Who gave the minimum runs? So see here, Chandrakant gave eighteen runs, Ramakant gave twenty runs, and Ahmed gave twelve runs. So here, Ahmed gave twelve runs. Twelve is minimum. So here, right, Ahmed gave away the least runs per over. Now we will find how many runs Ahmed given in one over. So total runs given by Ahmed is twelve runs, and How many overs in three overs? So twelve runs divided by three overs, and twelve divided by three, three fours are twelve. So here is four runs. So Ahmed gave four runs per over. Students, thus we can see that a lot of information can be obtained from the pictures in this table. Such tables. which represent information using pictures or icons are called pictographs or pictograms why scale use in pictographs now student what is the important of scale in pictograph see when the number of objects are very big then it is not possible to draw one picture per object so we are using the scale for example take a scale one picture is equal to 10 objects it means for 50 objects we have to draw only five pictures not 50 pictures so to make a pictograph we must choose an appropriate scale now i hope all of you understood today's topic keep practicing thank you